I know my notes for my bonding quiz. I don't have them. I have my notes. I just took the test. Oh, thanks. Here you go. A bond is a debt security, uh, similar to an IOU. Uh, borrowers issue bonds to raise money from investors that are willing to lend money to them for a certain amount of time. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending the uh, money to the issuer, which may be a government, you know, a municipality, or a corporation. When companies need to raise money, issuing bonds is one way for them to try and accomplish a monetary goal. And, uh, a bond functions like a loan between an investor and a corporation. The investor agrees to give the corporation a specific amount of money for a specific period of time. In exchange for periodic interest payments, um, I've designated um, how to buy a bond. Now, in the United States, you can buy bonds directly from the government through the Treasury Directory at www.treasurydirectory.com. And this is a website that helps investors to buy credits, you know, for right, There are two ways to make money on bonds. First one, interest payments. So with most bonds, you know, you want something in return. So companies will give you regular interest payments while they hold the bond, you know, uh, and most bonds will have some sort of fixed interest rate that doesn't change. The second method is selling a bond, generally for more than you paid if you want to make money. Um, and the usual standard is when interest rates go down, bond prices go up. So that's when people will sell them. Okay, there are two main reasons that bonds will change their value. Um, the first one is due to changes in interest rates. Uh, the second reason is that uh, change in credit quality can uh, change the value of bonds. You know, this makes an important part of vesting in bonds um, is being aware that all bonds are subject to an interest rate risk. Different types of bonds. Uh, the first is government bonds. The second is municipal bonds. Government bonds are fixed income securities classified according to length of time for maturity. Treasury bills are debt securities maturing in less than a year. And because of that short maturity time, they're often not considered bonds. Treasury notes are debt securities maturing in one to 10 years. Treasury bonds are debt securities maturing in more than 10 years. Marketable securities from the U.S. government are collectively known as treasuries. Municipal bonds, known as moonies, are the next progression in terms of risk. The major advantage to moonies is that the returns are free from federal tax. Furthermore, local governments will sometimes make their debt non-taxable for residents, thus making some municipal bonds tax-free. Because of the tax savings, the yield on a moody is lower than that of a taxable bond. Depending on your personal situation, a moody can be a great investment on an after-tax basis. Corporate bonds. A company can issue bonds uh, just as it can issue stock. Corporate bonds are categorized by higher yields because there is a higher risk of a company default. Um, however, these bonds can also be the most rewarding investments because of the high risk. Bond that makes no coupon payments, but instead is issued at a considerable discount to par value. For example, if I had a stock, a bond that was trading at $1,000 par value, with a 10 year maturity for $600, that means you pay $600 today, and in 10 years, the value of the stock, the bond will be $1,000. Thank you so much.